Hello, I'm Demon Gund, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a very useful plugin that I posted a bounty for to the Tailspire modding community and Holofox completed. Our respective Patreons will be linked below. Let's get into it. My niche is translating popular Wizards of the Coast modules into Tailspire, and making sure I get it right involves a lot of alt-tabbing between Tailspire and map images. I needed a more efficient way to compare my Tailspire builds with the original 2D material. To that end, Holofox created the Image to Plane plugin. If you need instructions for how to get plugins running in Tailspire, I have a video for that. Go ahead and go watch it. In the R2 Modman Mod Manager, find the Image to Plane plugin and install it. Once you've started Tailspire using R2 Modman, assuming you haven't changed any keybinds, hit F1 to be prompted to enter a URL or browse to a local file. Simply select a file or enter a URL, and there you have it. Note, though, that if you select a local file, that local file will only be visible to you. It's not going to be visible by your players. But if you enter a URL, it will be. If it is the first time you're loading an image, it is very likely that the size will not match the Tailspire grid. To get it lined up, there's a little bit of work to do. Here's my incredibly inefficient process. To see how many pixels one square is, what I do is I find the select tool and I find a square. Okay, here we've got a square here and I select it. And all I do is I change the entire canvas to my selection, fit canvas to selection. Then I go to scale my image and it tells me 41 by 38. So I'm, I'm pretty close here. So being that close, I don't think I need to resize the image at all. If it were larger or shorter, I might select the whole image and expand it or contract it such that one square was roughly 40 by 40. Or I could change the configuration in the plugin if it was something different, like if it was 35 by 35 or 20 by 20. Now that we have our image modified, we load it up to see just how far off we are. Okay. So the squares look good, but it looks like we're off by a couple pixels. So at this point, I would go back to GIMP, I would edit the image, and I would shift it, you know, a few pixels to the left, a few pixels up, until these lines uh, lined up correct. But, but be aware, in my experience, all 2D graphs are never straight ever. Maybe it's because of how the books were scanned in or some other graphics distortion, but in the end it doesn't really matter because your Tailspire board will end up vastly different in size and shape anyway. The real value in the plugin for me is to completely avoid the tile count alt tab dance, which takes a lot of time when starting a new board.